Are you a lady in certain stage in your life and you're feeling very hot, very cold, up and down? Your body is not the same anymore. You're getting irritated very often. Let's sit down. Guys, also sit down because wifey might be experiencing uh, 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 and you have been wondering, is this the wife you have known all these many years? There's something going on in her life, changes going on in her life. So let's sit back and talk about this issue menopause so menopause is a natural biological process in a woman's life and it, it typically occurs between the age of 40 and 55 it can happen earlier it can happen later in life so everybody is different so at this time the ovaries stop producing eggs the hormonal level declines that's the estrogen and the progesterone it will decline significantly it's a healthy life changes that every woman goes through menopause has three stages perimenopause so perimenopause or pre-menopause this is a transition when you are going into it so at this time your menstrual period the woman's menstrual period is irregular so it happens today it might happen next week it might stop you know you have some you see some spotting it will go away sometimes it will hit you with heavy flow sometimes it will stay months before it comes back that's perimenopause or pre menopause again it can start happening from age 35 things have changed a lot of women are hitting menopause from 35 years old so that's why it's very important to start having your children as early as possible get married start having children number two is menopause that means if you have not seen your period as a woman for 12 consecutive you are into your menopause then again the other one is postmenopause so postmenopause is 4 years after you have not seen your period you are postmenopausal so what are the signs and symptoms of menopause how do we know that this woman is typically or properly in that season of menopause number one hot flashes have you seen a woman struggling finding herself Ooh, i'm hot Ooh, i'm so hot turn the fan on turn the ac on face it on me face it on me Ooh, i'm so hot what is going on now menopause is menopause so at this time 80 percent of women have hot flashes and it starts from age 40 okay so you get too hot you get too cold you get too warm you get too you see your wife covering and uncovering just like that women we go through this so first sign is that hot flashes before the menstrual period will actually stop you don't they feel too hot number two is night sweat you go to bed you are sweating you are because of this hot flash going on you start sweating so that's another one number three vaginal dryness you know when you want to do the do you see that um you know, those a uh, natural flu that comes when you're in the mood. It doesn't come that easily anymore. So there is vaginal dryness. But number four, there is pain when you have relationship in, with your spouse. There is this pain because there is dryness there. So going in and out of that is going to create pain because the friction is there. So there will be pain there. So again, there is pain during sex. Okay. Number five, mood swing. You see your wife, you see this lady, she's happy today. She's not happy tomorrow. She's irritated. She's agitated. She's anxious. She's depressed. So there is mood swing, what we call mood swing. So when your wife is doing this, give her space. So give her space. She's not the one doing it. Now menopause, the do -am. Allow her to express herself. As long as she's not taking it to the next level, calm her down to support her. Number six, there is this weight gain. It happens with menopause. You see women, when we reach that age, 40, 45, 50, we start having this belly, this abdomen, we start getting big. This is not a time to start telling your wife, ah, do something about this, your big belly, it's getting bigger, it's getting... No, now menopause, when once a woman hits age 40 you see this woman will start developing belly from nowhere 
when the woman born bikini, Belen no even reach that. But as time goes on, when he don't they reach that menopause, you see this woman be belay don't they big, don't they big. Again, all these symptoms doesn't have to happen with everybody. Every one of us is different. So sometimes I might experience this symptom. The next lady is not experiencing the same symptom. So for some women, there is this one, generalized body weight gain. And some of us, we they get them for belay, for belay, or on our chest. It happens. Number seven, sleep disturbances, what we call insomnia. This woman cannot sleep at night. Remember, she's having these hot flashes. She's having this anxiety. She's sweating. Then she's going to have the difficulties sleeping at night. Number eight, decreased libido. You know, this woman doesn't feel like doing it. The husband wants to touch her. She don't feel like doing it. The husband is trying to pet her. She's getting more and more irritated. Now menopause, they cause them. Not be like say she no one do the do. But she's not feeling it. Remember, there is decrease in hormone. This hormone where they ginger up us. It don't decline. The estrogen and progesterone, they don't decline. Now those hormones, they ginger us to do it. But our own don't drop. Then remember, we are feeling hot already. We don't want anybody to come gum us again. And again, remember, there is vaginal dryness and there is pain during sexual relationship. So all these things will be warming up in our brain. And we don't feel like doing it. We don't want to. So it's not us. Now menopause, bear with us, I beg. In number nine, there is this fatigue tiredness, exhaustion. This woman is tired. Even when she haven't done much for the day, but she's tired. She's exhausted. She's just not feeling herself. This fatigue is there. Number 10, memory loss. Woman, they will, your wife, you don't they forget something. No. Ha. You go keep, you go forget. You go put uh, food for fire. You go forget. You go, ah, uh, uh, you don't think they forgetful. Now menopause, on the post, our brain, anyhow, anyhow. Number 11, changes in menstrual cycle. Remember, 12 consecutive months of no menses. You don't enter menopause with that. So your monthly visitor, no, they come again. Number 12, there is lots of hair on your scalp. You see, you comb your hair like this, you go see a lot of hair don't they fall off like that. Now menopause. Number 13, lots of bladder. You know, sometimes you go see your woman, you go, they wear pad. Ah, uh ah, -uh. ah, uh ah. -uh. Madam, nobody, you know, they see period they get. Why are you wearing pad? This woman, don't they have incontinence? That's, in, don't they lose urine? Small, 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 small. When she laughs, a little go drop. When she squats, a little go drop. When she bend, a little go drop. When she cough, a little go drop. That's part of menopause if they happen. So again, because of this, you see that woman trying to urinate very, very frequently so that she will not have a full bladder or have incontinence. Number 14, headache. Disease headache always coming. So when you want to touch wifey and she's telling you I'm having headache, don't think she's playing. She don't want to do the do. Sometimes she's having that headache for real. It's part of that hormonal changes. And at times, body ache a body go the hot arm number 15 heart palpitation because of these hormonal changes and other things going on you see sometimes she will have this heart going on boom 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 what causes menopause every woman go get that it go reach you if they never reach you it go reach you wait for it it's coming natural it comes with age when a woman don't they reach 40 45 50 55 mm, in natural aging number two surgeries such as hysterectomy number three cancer treatments chemotherapy and radiation number four premature ovarian failure number five conditions such as endometriosis hiv aids to cause a woman to go into menopause without reaching the time the woman should be how can we treat all these things that happen during menopause we are not treating menopause itself we are treating the symptoms of menopause and how severe the first thing we need to do is lifestyle changes it starts with your diet what are you eating and how are you eating try to eat low fat diet vegetarian diet that means you won't be eating anything from animal all you'll be eating is all about plants anything meat so they chop them again very vegetarian means anything from plants 
that's all you're going to be eating. Then again, supplements with vitamin D, vitamin B, vitamin E. Eat nice protein, omega-3 fatty acid, folic acid, and also limit processed food. Baking, sausage, fried chicken, uh, bread, cake, buns, all this hamburger, limit, limit, limit. As your age increases, be very, very intentional about what you put into your mouth. Number two, exercise. Do you move around? How much do you move around? Number three, stress management. Are you stressed out? Try to reduce all those things that causes distress, your stressor. If you cannot stay away from it, manage it very well. Sleeping habits. How do you sleep? Do you sleep up to seven hours a night? Try to do that. Then smoking. Are you smoking? Are you drinking alcohol? Stop, stop, stop. There is also hormonal replacement therapy. That one is there too. You can replace estrogen, progesterone, or you can do combination therapy where you take both. Is menopause causing you to be depressed? You take antidepressant if it's too much. Are you having so much anxiety issues? You're being so agitated, irritated because of menopause. Now you have to take low dose antidepressant. If you are at that level that you can no longer control it, you need to start taking medications. Please, if your blood pressure is high, take your medications as ordered. If you are experiencing vaginal dryness, maybe or you're also experiencing painful sexual intercourse, there are lubricants out there, there are vaginal creams out there that you can use to ease those pain, those friction, those irritation. Baby oil is not a good lubricant. Vaseline is not a good lubricant. Those are petroleum-based, okay? So we don't recommend anybody to use baby oil as lubricant. We don't recommend anybody to use Vaseline as lubricant. Use water-based lubricants. So if you cannot reach any of those, use ordinary water. Use ordinary water to soften them, okay? Alternative, some people can do acupuncture. Another thing, herbal supplement. Some people say that soul beans helps a lot. Wild yam, you know, red clover, lemon, turmeric, uh, black cohosh, you know, evening primrose oil, cumin, alfalfa, ginkgo, blah, blah, all those things they help. And again, be mindful of yourself now, you know. Focus on things that will not cause you stress. Focus on things that will not add to your depression. Focus on things that will not irritate you much. So again, this will help you to reduce stress and anxiety. Focus your thoughts on things that makes you happy. Your attention on things that makes you happy. What are the complications of menopause? Um, osteoporosis. You know, osteoporosis is when, when your bone becomes weak and brittle. That means your bones can easily break. Okay, especially your backbone, your pelvic bone. So all those ones can easily break. Anything hitting it, even ordinary fall, you go break up. And also cause people to be bending this way, bending this way, bending this way as they're going, growing older. You see them hunching back. Heart disease and heart palpitation, coronary artery disease, stroke, heart attack, arrhythmia, all these things will result from menopause vaginal atrophy literally means vaginal dryness i have talked about that trying to force you, you start bleeding you start cracking you will have wound all those ones or the woman will start discharging due to that friction might even introduce infection into the vaginal area so we need to be careful that's why it's important to use vaginal cream vaginal lubricants are you having urinary incontinence wear sanitary pad and also empty your bladder very very often educate yourself just like i'm doing now create this awareness know what is going on in your body also consult with your doctor ask questions do you have a support group talk to your friends how are they handling theirs are you feeling this hot 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 buy fan face yourself or turn on the ac if you have access to it or ga find your wife now fan her buy something they find now mm, now wife will be that now she's going through something no take and play help her fan it, menopause no is you 
especially if you're in a very hot environment where you don't have access to cooling system it's it's tough okay. talk to your mother your mother went through menopause talk to your sisters they are probably going through menopause how are they handling it you know how they say that a problem discussed is a problem half solved again not all problems you have to discuss so so you pick and choose what you want to discuss and who you want to discuss it with it will really help you so guys that's all i got to say about menopause menopause is hitting people early in life these days global warming is affecting everybody and everything thank you so much for logging in i really really appreciate it. please like share and comment on my video i'm still your girl Annie Otter. i love you guys stay safe bye guys